Hello everyone. Welcome to Static GK quiz number 114. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm Ritrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Which among the following may not lead to inflation? The correct answer is drop in public expenditure. Inflation means there is a sustained increase in the price level. The main causes of inflation are either excess aggregate demand or economic growth is too fast or cost push factors like supply side factors and the causes are demand pull inflation which means aggregate demand is growing faster than aggregate supply that is the growth is too rapid cost push inflation or higher oil prices are feeding through into higher costs for others devaluation or increasing cost of imported goods also boost up domestic demand. Rising wages, where higher wages increase, firms cause and increase consumers' disposable income to spend more. Expectations of inflation, which causes workers to demand wage increase and firms to push up prices. Which among the following may not be a consequence of inflation? The correct answer is equal distribution of income. Inflation is a decrease in the purchasing power of a currency due to a rise in prices across the economy. A predictable response to declining purchasing power is to buy now rather than later. Unfortunately, the urge to spend and invest in the face of inflation tends to boost the inflation in turn, creating a potentially catastrophic feedback loop. Banks usually respond by lowering interest rates. Low rates encourage spending and investing, which generally stoke inflation in turn. When there is no central bank, inflation will generally lower borrowing costs. There is some evidence that inflation can push down unemployment. Wedges tend to be sticky, meaning that they change slowly in response to economic shifts. Unless there is an attentive central bank on hand to push up interest rates, inflation discourages saving since the purchasing power of deposits erodes over time. Stagflation kicks in. High inflation is usually associated with a slumping exchange rate, though this is generally a case of weaker currency leading to inflation, and not the other way around. Which among the following is India's first expressway? The correct answer is the Mumbai Pune Expressway, which is a six lane concrete high speed tolled, access controlled 93 km long expressway. Who among the following headed the committee to review? Arrangements for Institutional Credit for Agriculture and Rural Development or Graphic Art in 1979, whose recommendations led to the establishment of NABAD. The correct answer is B. Sivaraman. The Committee to Review Arrangements for Institutional Credit for Agriculture and Rural Development set up by the Reserve Bank of India under the chairmanship of Sri B. Sivaraman conceived and recommended the establishment of the National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development or NABAD. The Indian Parliament, through the Act of 61 of 1981, approved the setting up of NABAD. The bank, which came into existence on 12 July 1982, was dedicated to the service of the nation by the Honorable Prime Minister Srimati Indira Gandhi on 5th of November 1982. IMF can grant loan to any member country of IMF. The International Monetary Fund is an international organization headquartered in Washington, D.C., consisting of 189 countries working to foster global monetary cooperation, secure financial stability, facilitate international trade, promote high employment and sustainable economic growth and reduce poverty around the world. It was formed in 1944. India Brand Equity Foundation or IBEF is a public-private partnership between the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India and WHO. The correct answer is Confederation of Indian Industry or CII. India Brand Equity Foundation is a trust established by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. IBEF's primary objective is to promote and create international awareness of Make in India label in markets overseas and to facilitate dissemination of knowledge of Indian products and services. Towards this objective, IBEF works closely with stakeholders 
across government and industry. It is funded and completely owned by the government of India. Socioeconomic planning is a part of which list? The correct answer is concurrent list. The concurrent list or list 3 of the 7th schedule is a list of 52 items, though the last item itself is numbered 47, given in the 7th schedule to the Constitution of India. It includes the power to be considered by both the central and state government. If you take a look at the Venn diagram on screen, it should give you a clear idea. Interest rate policy is declared as part of monetary policy. Monetary policy refers to the policy of central bank, that is Reserve Bank of India, in matters of interest rates, money supplies and availability of credit. It is through this monetary policy that RBI controls inflation in the country. Historically, from 2000 until 2013, India's interest rate averaged 6.6%, reaching an all-time high of 14.5% in August of 2000 and a record low of 4.3% in April of 2009. In which among the following forms, the special drawing rights or SDR are kept as currency of International Monetary Fund? The correct answer is bookkeeping entry. SDR was created by the IMF in 1969 as a supplementary international reserve asset. Technically, SDR is not a currency. The value of SDR is based on the basket of the four major currencies, US dollars, Euro, UK pound and Japanese yen. From 1st October 2016, one will be the fifth currency in the basket. The IMF members who hold the SDR are allowed to freely exchange their SDR with any of the four currencies in the IMF's basket. Generally, countries exchange their SDR with four major currencies to meet their trade needs with other countries. In context with SEBI, which among the following is not a correct statement? Its chairman is appointed by the president is not a correct statement. In April 1988, the SEBI was constituted as the regulator of capital markets in India under the resolution of the Government of India. The SEBI is managed by its members, which consists of the following. The chairman, who is nominated by the Union Government of India, and two members, that is, officers from the Union Ministry. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.